trophy ceremony. Anthony Cowan Jr., what a special day right before the shutdown. Wahab was tied up momentarily, then put it out the window and in. Wahab able to deter the inside attempt from Xavier Johnson. Now a transition opportunity for Ayala. With George Mason. Yeah, Kim English calls him his Swiss Army Knight. Can do a little bit of everything in almost every position. Julian Arias has an incredibly bright future for the Terrapins. Really nice 6 9 frame for Reese. This is coughed up, and it's showtime for Devontae Gaines. It was also Hampton, Iowa State. Scott's was out there. It was a steal, and a two on one leads to a Fats Russell bucket. I loved him right from the beginning. Schwartz, a transfer, knocks down the three, his second trade of the ball game. A little helter-skelter now over these past couple of possessions. The lob up, and the conversion from Henry. First couple of possessions, and then it's been quiet. Yeah, there, here it is. Caduce Wahab versus Odero, and Odero won that round. That was crafty. Xavier Green brings a lot of experience. Found the freshman, Julian Arise, who knocks down the mid-range J. Mark Turgeon felt Xavier Green really stepped up in the second half of that Vermont game. Julian Reese off to a good start. Found a block there. Doing it on both ends. One on the clock. And the last gasp effort goes down. A tray from Davon Cooper is averaging a shade over 13 points per game. George Mason shot 40% from the field in the opening half. Again, combined for 44 points. Russell and Ayala last time out against Vermont. They were a key part of the second half comeback. Here's Russell. Blocks by Gaines. A player that he thinks can defend one through four. That's the point through the power forward. That was a power forward move right there. He's able to keep control of it and finish. Hart grew from 6'5 to 6'8 freshman year to now as a junior as a bucket coming off the cut there from Deshaun Schwartz. Maryland, one of five ranked Big Ten teams entering this week. I mentioned Michigan fell to Seton Hall last night. Purdue, Illinois, and Ohio State are the others. It's Fats' second turnover so far. The drive. Hartwell was blocked by Martinez. Deservedly so. Richmond, very experienced team that Maryland will face, but George Mason's going to be in the mix in the A-10 without question. Look at this, a 10-point lead. It's a good luck. Bursting out of the back comes Xavier Johnson. Into the body of Martinez, blocked by Scott. In addition to us, because he's got 15. Gaines in the corner, able to knock down a three. That's Russell up ahead. The double clutch and a pretty finish from Xavier Green. Boy, Russell just trying to get involved in some way. Only has two points. <laughs> another J goes down, another three for Schwartz. He matches a career high with five triples. Jim Calhoun still complaining about it. <laughs> Why are we playing an 11 seed in D.C.? <laughs> well, that's because they kept winning. Scott off the air ball, so the shot clock didn't reset, didn't matter. Cooper against Ayala, fun matchup tonight. A big bucket there for Davon Cooper. Gaines will back it out. Schwartz give him six threes, most he's ever had in a single game. It's going to be a squad, it's going to be trouble in the A-10. George Mason is 0-9 all-time against Maryland. A three and a much-needed one goes down for Eric Ayala. He's been a little bit of silent. One evening, one Ayala, back-to-back -back trays. Oduro was able to get the defense in the air, makes it a three-point game right as the shot clock was winding down. Scott has been excellent from three tonight. 
Couldn't find another. George Mason goes on the road and finds their first ever win over the Terrapins.